everyone, I'm Allie, Head of Design Experience here at Canva. But that wasn't always my role. I used to be the founder of a startup. I started out with an idea, but because I was labeled a non-technical founder, I got rejections from investor after investor. Until I learned to code. Then I could bring my ideas to life. And that's when I raised funding, built a product, and ended up getting acquired. So I want to ask all of you here today, who here can code? Okay, okay. I see a few hands, but certainly not everyone. Now, we know that coding opens up so many possibilities, but it's still inaccessible. And that's because coding is complex. It's a specialized skill that takes years to learn. So even creating a simple app can take weeks, if not months. But to us, that's an opportunity to make complex things simple yet again. Before Canva, most people didn't think they'd ever be able to design either. And now, millions of people design in Canva every day. So, just like we empowered the world to design a decade ago, we're going to do the same for coding. I am so excited to share our final launch for today. This one is truly groundbreaking. Can I get a drum roll? <laughs> Introducing Canva Code. <laughs> now, for the first time ever, anyone can create not just visual, but interactive experiences. No coding skills required. This is a big moment for Canva as we reimagine what it means to design and to bring ideas to life. You'll find Canva code right on the home page in Canva AI. Just enter a prompt and describe what you want to build in a few sentences. And it can be almost anything you can imagine, a quiz, a game, an interactive calculator. And then watch Canva code it for you. It's true. You don't need to know HTML or CSS. It does all the hard work. And then, once it's built, you can add your custom coded widget to any design, like a presentation, or publish it as a website. But to truly see what's possible with Canva code, we had to put it in your hands. So last week, we assembled a group of 25 people, from teachers to business owners to students, and we asked them a simple question. If you could code, what would you build? Let's see what they created. Okay, everyone, we are extraordinarily excited to have you all here today. Who here has coded before? Never. You have? Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't be crazy. I didn't make anything, but I've played a coding game. I never coded before. This is my first time. Coding. It's confusing. It's very complicated. Yes. Okay, what if I told you all, by the end of this session, you're all going to be able to code something and have it all in your Canva design, your website, your presentation. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> You should see a new button that says Canva AI. If you click on that, you should see a button that says Code for Me. We are just going to put in whatever we've ever dreamed about. I feel like study guide, maybe? Sounds perfect. One of my songs would be recommended so I could play it. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. My family's company. We don't have a website, so I think this will be really helpful for us. A horror-based video game based on my dog. I'm trying to build a website for my floral design company. A video game riding a city bike through the portals of New York. Online fitness. And then for a different preset. There we go. 
Oh, it's calling me. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me, it's built. It just created like almost 140 lines in seconds. How long would that take in real time? Like hours. This is light speed. Hey, hey everyone. Let me know when your codes have finished generating. I'd love to see what you've all been creating. So I made a website as an artist. I wanted people to be able to like type in how they're feeling and then one of my songs would be recommended. Oh. So I called it In the Mood for Love. You could search <laughs> up like, I'm in love and then It'll just play a song. I'm big into fitness. I asked Canva AI to build an app that tracks everything in the same spot. So I created a puzzle for kids with autism. It's a sensory game. It does make sounds as well. Well, not yet, but I'm coding that right now. <laughs> I was able to create a interactive study app, flashcards, quizzes. I created this horror-based video game on my dog. Hey everyone, this is Boba Buddy, sort of a dashboard website where you can find all of the bubble tea or boba shops in your area. We made a multiplication game. It makes math a lot easier in school if you have all of this memorized, right? The thing that blew me away about Canva code is how fast it was. It saved me like two or three weeks of work. To know that this exists now for people that are starting, that don't have a big budget, is huge. Simple, you know, you just have an idea and it can come to life in a matter of minutes. Who can now create with Canva code? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> well done, everyone. Thank you so much, Ali, and thank you to our Canva community who tried Canva code for the very first time. If that's what's possible in just a quick session with 25 people, we can only imagine what you're all going to create from here. So get in there, have a play, share your feedback and your wishes for what you want for the future of Canva code. We can't wait to see what you all create.